See, you see in right now, uh, I'm sure even in Ahmedabad it's true, every city it is true, at forty degrees centigrade, he is selling fruit. <laughs> How much of it will be left? Even if the fruit is there, nothing is there in it because fruit is ninety percent water. There is substantial medical evidence to show you, any food that you eat, its water content should be higher than your body's water content. You must eat water, not drink water. This… this… Uh, this campaign by uh, you know, water bottling companies in America especially and it's gone everywhere, every day you must drink three liters of water, four liters of water, you will dilute your blood and suffer many things. Micronutrients won't reach your brain or various cells simply because you're overly diluted. And anyway, all you will do is you need bathrooms every kilometer. In America, there are more bathrooms than the population because drinking so much water, you have to go all the time. You must eat water, your food must have water content. You eat dry food and then drink water, it doesn't do the thing. Fruit has nearly eighty to ninety percent water and that is why it's the best thing to consume. We have to bring it back into the nation's diet. As far back as many centuries or a millennia ago, people have noticed that we were eating a lot of fruit because we have the highest variety of fruits in this country. But we… most of the traditional fruits are gone. Most of the fruits you see in the market are from New Zealand or uh, Australia or Thailand or somewhere. Traditional fruits are almost going out. I don't know what you call them, the local names, uh, but you know, there are so many varieties of tropical fruits in this country, which are all vanishing. From the market, it's vanished. The trees also, I don't see them anywhere anymore, which were all common at one time. And I'm, I'm not talking five hundred years ago, I'm talking fifty years ago, this was all very, very common. Need us